Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Zonal Statistics tool to extract various metrics from a raster. And specifically, what Zonal Statistics allows us to do, it allows us to take a whole large raster area, in this case the digital elevation model of Middlebury, Vermont area, and it allows us to extract information or metrics from within just within the boundary of a polygon feature or within the boundary of multiple polygon features. So in this case we only have one polygon feature which is the outline of the Middlebury River watershed but we could easily have a shapefile that has 10, 100, or 1,000, or 10,000 polygon features and we could extract information about the average values within each of those features. And so just to be clear, what this zonal statistics tool does, it, it essentially counts up all the pixels inside of the polygon boundary, and then it computes whatever statistics you want. The mean, the max, the min, standard deviation. So it first gets all the pixels, which then become kind of a population of data points, and then it computes those metrics. All right, so here's the tool processing toolbox use this one right here, Zonal Statistics, with the little uh, sigma on it. We'll open it up. Um, our raster target layer is going to be, why don't we do this in our, our meters, so it's our, our digital elevation model. And here is the vector layer uh, containing those polygons I was just talking about. In this case, we just have the mid-river watershed. And what's going to happen, it's going to actually add new columns into our attribute table. So once the new statistics are computed, they're going to be added into columns in our attribute table. And so uh, those columns, you can give any prefix you want to have in those columns. We'll just leave it at the underscore. And then importantly, you can tell it how many statistics you want it to compute. So the basics are count, sum, and mean. But why don't we throw in standard deviation, min, and max as well. So we'll hit OK. Um, we don't need to specify an output file because essentially this is going to modify an existing file, which is the shape file, and add in the metrics into um, each feature in the shape file. All right, so let's hit run. And I believe that finished. It happens very fast. And now just to check, let's go up to our shape file, right click, go to the attribute table. And sure enough, I only have one feature, it's row number one, but uh, what was added, and there was lots of different stuff in here before, I should have showed you it before, but what was added at the very end were these six columns, underscore count, underscore sum, mean, standard deviation, min, and max. So again, what you now have here this is the mean of all pixels within this polygon. This is the standard deviation of all pixels within this polygon. So the mean elevation of the Middlebury River watershed is 428 meters plus or minus 200. Thanks for listening, everybody.